So we're in the middle of rehearsing the uh, Julian Phillips Maximorphosis, which is an incredibly exciting piece. Uh, one of the reasons I set up this orchestra was actually because I was just desperate to conduct this piece. I heard it on SoundCloud, I thought it was brilliant. The viola solo takes you on a journey from the birth of this viola player. Um, and you hear the gurgles of the baby viola uh, and the cries as it becomes, uh, I guess, a fully fledged instrument and learns how to play. Because there's, there's so few people you don't have to worry about um, and getting everybody to do the same thing. We can have a lot more sort of dialogue within the ensemble um, and, and work, work on things that are much quicker than you would be able to if it was, say, a symphony orchestra size. Well, something I was quite keen with this ensemble is not to make it solely a contemporary music um, uh, ensemble. And we're also rehearsing the Janacek Suite for Strings, the uh, Britain Sinfonietta, uh, as well as more contemporary pieces by Taki Mitsu. Uh, because I quite like it when contemporary music is put next to older music, because otherwise they can seem to be very separate things. So um, um, I, I, I think they're very complementary. <laughs> Contemporary music is my bag, so I was really excited to do something completely brand new. Um, and it's so, and I played similar pieces to this before, but no, nothing, nothing exactly like it. So it's, it has been really, really fun putting it together. So this viola solo takes you on a journey, and it's been a real pleasure to be able to perform it with the Sundial Chamber Orchestra. It is, it is tricky, but it's a great challenge, and I've um, got some brilliant musicians to work with. I've been utterly spoiled in that regard. Um, so our concert is on the 31st of March at 6pm in the Guildhall School of Music, Silk Street Concert Hall.